welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alex Reimer, and today I am going to talk about the topic of saying no and how saying no is a sign of respect. A lot of people avoid or neglect or put off communicating their no, or communicating that they no longer want something or that they're in opposition of something because their, their conscious mind, the, the ego chatter that is quite often driving the show, believes that ignoring or avoiding or putting off the situation is better because it won't hurt the other's feelings. It won't hurt the individual's feelings. That is a part of your no. So this is far from the truth. It's, it's actually quite disrespectful to not communicate how you're feeling. Um, and it is a sign of spiritual bypassing to not communicate how you're feeling. There are many ways to communicate your no. Communicating a no isn't always literally using the word no. There are ways to set boundaries. And we can talk about this in another video. If you want, just type in the comments what questions you might have. So why is avoiding or neglecting or just kind of ignoring the, the subject altogether not at all good for the situation? It's just not helpful. It's not better. It, it's not the compassionate thing to do because you're not hurting the other's feelings. In fact, again, it is far from the truth. And so why? Well, one, you leave the individual in a state of wondering. You don't give the individual permission to close the door. And th that is so selfish. <laughs> For, you know, there's really no other way to communicate that. You leave them in a state of wandering. You keep the, the individual from moving on, from closing the door, from taking clear action and direction in their life to whatever is next. Because there is a reason you want to say no. Your no, while it might seem like it's very personal to you, is bigger rhythms of consciousness wanting to manifest through you. You are the expression of it, but ultimately it has nothing to do with you and it has nothing to do with the individual. It is time to sever ties. It is, and, and this is, you know, there are extreme or bigger or more significant examples of like being in an intimate relationship, for example. But then there are tiny everyday examples of somebody asking something of you and instead of saying no, you just, you don't respond. This is pretty common in like the Facebook messaging or Instagram messaging or text messaging world. Sometimes the, the no response is a no in and of itself, but I want to encourage you to practice saying your no. Like, no, I'm not interested, thanks for reaching out. Period, the end wish you well. What, how would that feel to just communicate that, that conviction and give the person clear energetic momentum towards what's next so that they are not in a state of wandering, so that it doesn't prolong confusion? And so number two, why? Why is it far from the truth that completely just ignoring and, avoid, and avoiding your no is better for the situation? You are assuming that the individual can't handle your response. You're basically assuming that they don't have emotional resiliency. You're assuming that they do not have the capacity to grow from your no. And again, there are more significant life altering no's. But today I'm more referencing the, the small no's. Oh, there's my dog. I'm referencing the nose around telling someone that you don't want to meet for coffee or saying you don't want to have dinner or, you know, the social nose. 
when you have too much on your plate or you're just literally not interested in the offer, you're not interested in hanging out, it doesn't feel calling to you. Or kind of business, professional notes, like someone presenting a service to you and, and you're not interested or it doesn't feel like it's the right time to take advantage of this service. Why not communicate that? Why not say no? So again, back to point number two. That's one, two. <laughs> you are assuming that the individual can handle it. You're taking away their power. You're manipulating them. And you're not giving them the opportunity to grow, to have their process. Because again, if you're wanting to say no, it's because you're meant to. You wouldn't have that inclination if that wasn't supposed to happen. And that is an offering to the individual. They get to use your no to go on to the next thing, to grow from it, to understand their response. So, yeah, point number three. Ultimately, avoiding saying no is you protecting your own feelings. You trick yourself into thinking that it's protecting the other, but it has nothing to do with them. It's about you. You are afraid of the rejection that they'll have or the response that they'll have that will seem like rejection. You are afraid of the negativity of how they could react. But here's the thing. Referring back to the concept that your no is an offering to the individual and whatever their response is, is their process that isn't yours to take on. It's for them. Your response to their response is for you. And ultimately, it boils down to a codependency you feel good about yourself or you feel more safe within yourself when not creating any confrontation. You have a, a mental construct that saying no is confrontation. And that is again, far from the truth. It is in service, it is an offering. And it is an offering in these very minor day-to-day -day interactions. No, I don't want that addition to my meal. No, I don't want to meet up for coffee. No, I'm not interested in your service. Thanks for reaching back out. No, I'm, I want to go home. I don't want to have dinner tonight. Uh, things like that social and professional knows. So my, my call to action for you, if you're on the path of waking up, is to practice saying no in real time. Truly, practice telling people you're not interested. If that's your gut instinct, just say the thing. Practice telling people what goes on in your mind right away in response to a question, in response to an invitation, in response to asking for clarity. It's in service. The only person you're protecting is yourself, not them. Okay? Live from an elevated perspective. An elevated perspective in this context would be to zoom out and recognize that your no is a coherent energy that is an offering to the individual that they can then use to take direct action into whatever is next. Without the no, it's ambiguous. There's a lack of cohesion. Things are confusing. There's no direct ending. There's no direct beginning. And while it seems minor, in these social and professional interactions, starting out with these minor tools in saying no will support the general consciousness of the planet. It's a tiny domino effect over time, realign, realigning our energetic response 
to what's happening. I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what you got out of it. If you have any objections, if you have any questions, if you have any constructive feedback as I re-enter the realm of releasing YouTube videos. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.